Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today we're going to conclude for now the reviews of the new protocol cigars with the Sir Robert Peel Maduro Corona Gorda. And here it is. Five and five eighths by 46. And there is your density. Has an average feel in the hand. Now, the uh, the cigar is comprised of a Pennsylvania broadleaf wrapper, Nicaraguan binder and filler, and made by our good friends in the Lazona factory in Esteli. Uh, you may have noticed that uh, the Sir Robert Peel Corona Gorda is round, and the uh, regular versions are box pressed. One little difference. So that's sort of the long and the short of it, to be honest with you. So let's get right to it. The new Sir Robert Peel Maduro Corona Gorda. Now to say this cigar is pretty is an understatement. The darkness of the wrapper and the maroon band and the maroon in the... Uh, band it just works very well together i mean you'd have to call that a very pretty cigar and well made look at that wrapper smooth so speaking of the band at the foot let's slide it off and give it a clip while, while my good buddy the chief looks on I've noticed these cigars don't have an effortless draw. It's what I'd call a uh, good draw with some firmness. But it works. First flavors are very nice chocolate. Cedar with some peach influence, brown sugar, uh, creamy nutmeg, and a nice black coffee. Not quite to the espresso line, but very full, dark roasted black coffee. Black pepper at about seven ish. So that's how you start. And, uh, that's a very good start. Very nice, sweet notes, dark noted, plenty of sweetness. So uh, let's see what we have by the first third. the first third it was a long time getting here i wonder if i went a little over but it's a very slow burning cigar now the flavor is just about like i described uh, there's plenty of chocolate notes uh, there's uh, a nice peachy flavor there with some sweetness some brown sugar and maybe a touch of cedar there's plenty of nutmeg but as i said it was creamy and plenty of black coffee the pepper is good medium bodied right now thinking that might go up the finish has a little chocolate and nutmeg with very nice lingering black pepper but the cigar is very dark very sweet i mean plenty of sweetness i wouldn't call it very sweet let me change that it's got plenty of sweetness to go along with that nice chocolate and uh, black coffee very tasty cigar as i expected it would be but uh the first third I rate 94. Very good. Very, very good. So uh, we're off to a good start. We're off running. So let's see what the second third has.
in the second third. And the peach notes I keep telling you about have a tanginess to them. It's so sweet and tangy. It's very nice. Forget the cedar notes. There are some brown sugar notes to go along with that tangy peach. I like it. Nutmeg, creamy nutmeg, chocolate, and the black coffee. Black coffee might have, might have bumped up a little bit. It's a little more noticeable now. You could notice it before, but now it's right there. Medium to full. Finish has some of that peach and nutmeg. And very good lingering black pepper. I don't really have chocolate on the finish. This is a very good cigar. Um, I'm holding 94 for the second third. It's, it's just excellent. Again, as I expected it to be, uh, this is more like the protocol that I'm used to. Both of these. Um, for whatever reason, the uh, Elliot Ness wasn't quite to this level. Personal preference, possibly. But I'm reporting what I get. So this is a very good cigar, and we've got one third left. So let's see how we finish. to the end so let's wrap it up now in the previous segment i talked about the uh, coffee notes seem to be rising they rose in the second third it rose even more here in the final third and it really put a little damper on that nice sweet peach and chocolate because it, it the coffee notes really got out there medium to full high grade medium to full Finish at this point is nutmeg and a lot of that uh, coffee with a little bit of that peachness. Just a little. But a cigar took just a little turn downward. I'm going to rate it 92. Final third, 92. And, and that's late in the game. So that, that didn't really hurt it that bad. Because your overall score is 93.33. Pretty good. Now. For a quick recap of all the protocol cigars that I did uh, the last few weeks, it goes like this. The Sir Robert Peel Natural Corona Gordo, 94.67. Very, very good. Then you would have this cigar, the Sir Robert Peel Maduro, uh, Maduro Corona Gorda, 93.33. The, the Elliot Ness Maduro, 93. The Cyber Crimes Unit, 91.67. And the Elliot Ness Natural, 90. So all of them were 90 and above. Nice additions to the lineup for protocol. Pretty good. So there you have it. This cigar, the Sir Robert Peel Maduro Corona Gorda, 93.33.